What's one main goal for 2023? For 2023, I want people to come to Toronto and the first thing that they want to explore and see is the art community. I want to create a community that's focused on the merging of art and business in a way that is authentic. Toronto has like really blessed me and my community with spaces to create. With this new studio space that Liam and I have acquired, we're trying to kind of like give back. The goal for this year is to kind of like create a community within home studio. Uh, quit, quit advice, yeah. To get my mind right, my body right. Continue bettering myself and just better situations for the people around me. A lot of my friends will say I'm like a big sister to them. I'm also an actual big sister. I have three little sisters. I feel like my biggest goal is to be a big sister to myself and kind of nurture my inner child more. Just to develop as a human being in general. Drink more water. More discipline. I think it's just consistency. Read 45 bucks. I think I want to continue to learn like in everything that I do. I think it would be to take more risks. In 2022 I was more intentional and calculated with what I was doing. Um, but 2023 I kind of want to be a little crazy, take more risks, be more spontaneous, I guess. To be less apprehensive when releasing and sharing art, I think people in the creative community struggle with perfectionism. Just being accepting of where you are and like have unwavering faith in your ideas to a point where you don't like inhibit yourself to share it. Because I think sharing is like a major part of growth as an artist. We're to Jack, but like thoughts become things is like such a huge thing. This year I'm really trying to think of ideas and stop overthinking them and just like get it done. Because you don't realize how important execution is. Once it's done, you get to go move on to something else. Keep shooting, something's gonna go in. I realized that I always try to like grow my art and like try to make my art get better, but I realized if I like focus more on like my own personal life as well as just the things around me and the things I can control, it'll just like provide just better art and push me and be more creative. To exist in my truth. To remain true to myself. I think I'm tired of working for people. Say no more. Try to quit my other jobs and focus mainly on like the shit that I love to do. Be more passionate and make more time for the things I love. So many distractions in the world and uh, I always want to be more focused on my passion. Through 2022 I've learned how and what that really means to me. So now it's just putting all that manifestation and all that journaling, you know, and all that practice into action. I want to sell a piece of art for like over 25,000. Really hone in on my craft, whether it be acting, dancing, or music. <laughs> Finish my 12 piece dystopian collection. I'm looking to get signed internationally. Put out an album. Release more music. Billboards, I'm trying to get my shit big as hell. Kind of more into videography, getting into like short films. I want to invest into a 16 millimeter film camera. Make another film and put out two just banging collections for surely. Going global with it. Just expansion, like overall expanding my art and just bringing it to a level where people can really feel the vibration and the higher resonance. I want to go on tour. I want to make a movie. I want to show the movie. I want to go on tour. No, I said pick one. <laughs> okay, scratch that. <laughs> I want to go on tour with artists. Travel more. Travel more. Continue to travel to shoot. I really believe in like, you know, traveling different places and getting like your sound heard in different places. It does a lot. There's only so much Toronto can offer you. Do what I do in this city, but in every, anywhere and everywhere else, whether that means Montreal, Miami, LA, wherever. I'm actually starting it right now. I'm applying for my O1 visa to move permanently to Los Angeles. Yeah, moving to Los Angeles to expand the market of my work. Just get down there and, and start being a fish in an even bigger pond if that makes sense. Pushing my boundaries outside of Toronto. I don't want to stay here forever. I want to continue networking and meeting new people elsewhere. I have a Canadian incubator label system that I'm trying to kind of partner with an American system. If by the end of the year, I have something that's in line with the US, I would love that. Pretty much to gain a larger audience for my work, but also, I mean, I plan to do that in a way that doesn't make me feel like I'm losing my soul. 